All right, I'm down at Captain Tofield Bourgeois' historic and beautiful lodge down here in Lafitte, Louisiana. This place is actually an old schoolhouse that Tofield converted into his center of operations. From here, his anglers guide fishermen from all over the world to excellent redfish and speckled trout action. Now, it is stunning weather-wise right now. We got probably a five-knot wind, but here's the bad news. <laughs> There's a hard arctic blast coming tonight. It is going to be blowing a gale. Literally, tomorrow we're gonna have 30 mile an hour winds. I don't know what the plan is, but fishing nowhere in the marsh is good with 30 mile per hour winds. I don't even know if we're gonna go out. Maybe he's gonna cancel and just kind of hang around the lodge all day. We'll see, but if we do get on the water, it's gonna be white caps everywhere and a lot of dirty water. We'll probably have to resort to throwing some dead shrimp and maybe hoping to catch a redfish or two, but it's gonna be tough, tough, tough tomorrow. But I do know that tonight he's got a big meal plan, boiling some crawfish, maybe some other seafood. It is gonna be delicious. Uh, I just love coming down. He's one of my favorite places in the state of Louisiana, so I'm really looking forward to this. So I wish you could smell what I'm smelling out here. They're boiling crawfish. And man, the whole area just smells like heaven. I literally hope heaven smells this way. It is just incredible. What's good about it is like you yeah, take the paddle. Back this way and water. Yeah. Right. Wherever the paddle is. Yeah, right here. It's got a rack for it, but it gets hot when you're boiling. Yeah. You put it That's right a there. Sweet deal. I've never seen that. And Nice. This is the smaller one and make a bigger one in this. So why'd you make such a small batch? You just kind of I just was testing my water. Test batch. Okay. Test batch. Yeah, we're gonna fire up here right. for a while. I'll see if you know what you're doing. I make. It's probably your first time doing it. Yeah, I've read that. I did it on Google it. <laughs> you can watch a YouTube video. Yeah, I watched it on YouTube. <laughs> so you see these flags? They'll be going the opposite direction tomorrow and a whole lot more stars. It is really gonna be humming tomorrow. It's gonna be a brutal day. So one of the services Tofield offers is flights to the islands off the Louisiana coast, Chandler Islands, Timberlear Islands. They catch some beautiful speckled trout and redfish. Depending on the time of the year, summertime, warm weather, it's gonna be speckled trout. Colder weather seasons, it's big, big bull redfish. Excellent action out there, of course, weather permitting. Sometimes it's just too windy, like it's gonna to be tomorrow to get out to those islands. But when it's good, it is world class. All right, the cold front that was promised has definitely arrived. The calendar says March, but trust me, it is January here on the bayou. Bone chilling cold today. Brutal north wind blowing probably 30. Just terrible conditions for fishing. But uh, a bad day in South Louisiana is better than a good day anywhere else. So we're gonna get out there and attempt to make something happen. Put at least a few fish in the boat. Look, I'll be ecstatic if we return to Tofield's at noon today with five fish in our ice chest. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. We've got something special planned for tonight. Any fish we catch, they're gonna take them to a Brennan's restaurant and do a kind of like a catch and cook type deal. They're gonna cook our fish for us. You know that's gonna be delicious. So big day plan today. Hopefully you put a few fish on the boat. Stay tuned. Tofield, what can you do with conditions like this? What's the plan? The plan is you go back in the house and get a fresh cup of community coffee. <laughs> That's the plan, but we're gonna see, man. We got nine boats running out. So definitely gonna find out where we're gonna go, 
uh, we'd like to see a few child. Uh, they're around. The thing is just getting them, you know, to cooperate. Because now you got dropping temperatures, which is another thing that fish don't really like too much. And um, the wind is going to make it really tough to feel the bite. That's not Tofield, is it? No, no. That guy built that right there. That's like, yeah, it's like, uh, I got a name for him, but I'm not going to say <laughs> one. You know? I know, man. Bobby, what's your last name? Barulo. Barulo? Barulo. Barula? Yeah. Spell it. B E R O U L A R. Barula. Yeah. All right, so we made a quick run to an area maybe five minutes from Tofield's dock in Lafitte and Captain Bobby. Here we on. Well, on again. Is that a trout? You can come up, huh? It's a red. Oh, no. It's a trout. That's not a hit. That's a nice trout. There we go. That's what we came for. Look, Captain Bobby is my hero. I was setting up the camera equipment. He caught a fish in just maybe his first or second cast. And now he's got another one. If you can catch fish in these conditions, look at this trout. Look how dark he is. That's a beautiful fish. I dropped him off here last night. <laughs> Smart move. You put him in a pen? Yeah. Look at the fish. Little red. All right, not a legal fish, but a day like today, you'll take anything you can get. I'm gonna give him a kiss and send him on his way. See you, buddy. Grow up. Yeah, this ain't the most uh, hot fishing or whatever, but we've been here, what, 15 minutes? We got three fish in them? Yeah, with these conditions? Yeah, I said I'd be thrilled if we had five fish in the boat all day. <laughs> that might be our last one. <laughs> yeah. Fish on, fish on. Trout or a red? Looks like a red, huh? Oh, nice trout. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Nice. Good fish. You're on the clock. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Now, I don't want to overstate this, but the conditions today are terrible, absolutely horrible. And as I said earlier, a bad day in South Louisiana is better than a good day anyplace else. We've been fishing maybe 10 minutes. We already got four fish in the boat. I didn't think we'd catch five the whole day. And that's a beautiful trout. It is. He's going to be delicious for our catch and cook tonight. Look at this guy! Come on, show off! <laughs> oh! I didn't see any fish. Did y'all see anything? Fish on! Fish on! Nice trout. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh! They figured us out. Yeah. Two in a row. Fish. It's not a monster, but he will make the team. What they call that? What? A poor boy? Right behind you. Fish on. That's a trout. Nice. In a boat, in a boat, in a boat. All right. You come off? No, you got him. All right, so let's see. It is uh, 8.42, and we've already reached, you reached your expectations. my goal for the day. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Almost. <laughs> Tried to let him go. Look how black he is. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful fish.
those were some of the most brutal conditions I've ever fished in in South Louisiana. It was just blowing a gale today. Really, really crazy wind. Despite that, we still put 10 speckled trout in the boat, lost a few others at both sides. So this day could have been a whole lot worse. I set the bar at five fish before we left the dock and we doubled that. So I'm very, very happy with that haul. We fished the North shoreline of Bayou Wrigley's. Locals know where that is. And it had just a kind of a thin strip of clean water. As soon as you drifted out of that, you couldn't get a bite. But we worked that area back and forth and that's where we caught our fish and actually some very, very nice speckled trout. Now it's a good thing we caught some fish because they're doing a catch and cook for us tonight in the New Orleans French Quarter at a fine dining restaurant called the Bourbon House. Really can't wait to do that. It's gonna be absolutely excellent. Should be a whole lot of fun. But we got some product demonstrations coming up in the next few minutes after lunch. It's just so awesome down here. Even with these conditions, so much fun. Being down at Captain Tofield Bourgeois' place down here in Lafitte. Got a big day on tap. It's only about 12, 12.30 right now, so we got a lot of time left. Daylight saving time, got a lot of daylight left. We won't spend the rest of it on the water, but uh, it's gonna be a, a, a big day nonetheless. Looking forward to it. All right, now for the really fun part. We're heading down to the French Quarter of New Orleans to go eat the fish that we caught today. It does not get any fresher than that. Not only that, it's gonna be cooked by an outstanding chef. Man, I just can't wait to get down there. Probably about a 45 minute drive to downtown New Orleans. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So we just got to Dickie Brennan's, actually it's Bourbon House, it's a restaurant owned by Dickie Brennan, and we're going to go tour the kitchen and see how they're going to prepare our fish. This should be really cool. You followed us from the catch, now it's time for the cook. So we're here at Bourbon House in the French Quarter of New Orleans, we're on Bourbon and Iberville, and this is our chef, Ryan, and he's got, he's taken all the things we've caught, and now we're going to do what we enjoy doing, uh, making a big fuss out of uh, just getting real creative with some of the finest seafood in the world. I think what it works great is for people that are out of state that come to Louisiana, because typically those individuals are going to stay in downtown New Orleans where they're coming and going at some point. So what works great is when they've done some fishing and they're leaving and they're going to come back to downtown New Orleans and they want to eat some fish. A lot of times people don't take the fish home. Uh, they can come into world-class restaurants downtown New Orleans and, and have a have their fresh caught fish prepared. You know, it's nothing better than fresh fish. What I like a lot too is, is when people take in the next generation. It's that 12, 13 year old young boy, young girl, because not only are they having this experience being on the water with a fishing guide, you know, getting exposed so much, but then they bring the fish, because typically our chefs are gonna interact with 